just pulled this tuna casserole dish out of the oven. What do y'all think? Is that beautiful? Are y'all ready to make this recipe today? Oh yes, your family will enjoy this perfect casserole dish any night of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at those colors in there. You're gonna be amazed at the ingredients I use, and it's gonna be delicious. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. Are you having a good day? I know I am. Today we're gonna to make some tuna casserole. It's gonna have a little twist to it and I think you will enjoy it. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So without further ado, let us take a quick look at our ingredients. So today I'm going to use medium-sized noodles, salt and pepper, cream of mushroom soup. I have a, I think it's a 10 and a half ounce can of tuna. We have cheese that's been shredded. I have panko breadcrumbs. That's actually like an Italian blend in there, y'all. We have frozen peas that's been thawing out. And then I have parsley, carrots, celery, and a diced onion. So without further ado, let's get this party started. So before the video had started, ladies and gentlemen, I was already boiling my water for our noodles. So the water is now to a boil. I'm gonna use six cups of our medium-sized noodles. That's two cups. That's four. And I think I need some more noodles. <laughs> Actually, those are wide noodles, and those are medium. Let's give this a stir. cook this for about six or seven minutes ladies and gentlemen meanwhile let's go ahead and saute our vegetables turn my fire on medium high i'm gonna need about a tablespoon of butter which i did not say we need it but we do need it <laughs> now when i boil my noodles i normally add salt and oil to the water And let that melt. I decided to do this. Um, I looked at this one recipe and I was comparing, you know, different tuna recipes. And since I had made tuna salad the other week with the carrot, celery, and onions, I was like, why not just try it in the casserole dish, right? Can't hurt. <laughs> and if you want to add mushrooms or any other type of vegetables, ladies and gentlemen, have at it. It's really your tuna casserole so once our butter melts which is almost there we will add in our vegetables excluding the parsley so we have our onions celery and carrots and i chopped them very small ladies and gentlemen I love the color of this. And we're just going to let this tenderize um, about five to seven minutes, ladies and gentlemen, while our noodles are still boiling. We are going to start on our tuna, mixing everything together. So this is a can of tuna I'm using. And it's in water. Let me open this can. I rinsed the lids off already on the cans, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, 
Now, whether it's water, oil, make sure you drain the liquid before you add it into your dish. Toss our scrape the rest of it out of here. Y'all know me, waste not, want not. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm making this for my significant other because I'm detoxing, y'all. <laughs> so I'll be posting that video in five days. Now the noodles are definitely done. I'm going to take the noodles off the fire and then I'm going to drain them and run cold water on top of them, ladies and gentlemen. And then our vegetables are almost done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I removed the vegetables from the stove. They're sauteed. I have them sitting on the side, cooling off a little bit. Just take a fork and break up your tuna. I was up early this morning watching the news about Ukraine and Russia. Jesus, help us. Help us, Jesus, is all I can say, y'all. It's like, you know, when the pandemic hit, it's like, take the will, Jesus, and you just take the will. All right, so let's concentrate on our delicious tuna, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to add in our cream of mushroom soup. And I like Campbell's, but I had another can. So I'm going to use two different brand names for the tuna. Trying to scoop the rest of it out of there for us. We need all that goodness, y'all. All of it. I think this one actually has a lot more mushrooms in it than the other one. It has a different color. So I did check the expiration date. It's good. <laughs> Just don't know why the color is different. But we'll worry about that on another time, right? <laughs> All righty. Set this aside. Now we're going to throw in about two cups of shredded cheese to this mixture, which I already have, you know, right here. <laughs> Put that in there. And now let's toss in our veggies. I was hooked on the cabinet, so I, I got to turn the pan this way, ladies and gentlemen. So forgive me. All right, let's give this a mix right now. And we will need some milk, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't say that, but we are definitely going to add milk to this as well. Have the oven set on 375. We need some peas. Can't make this without peas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm gonna use one and a half, well, about one. That's one cup. And I will leave all the measurements below, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can make this recipe. When you try the recipe, let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. I love feedback. 
And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. Oh, this is going to be delicious, y'all. Delicious. So we need to make the bread crumb mixture. And we're going to melt this piece of butter. I'm going to drop this in the microwave right quick. Y'all know what I mean? I love me some pepper. Um, season this to your liking, y'all. If you don't want to add salt, you don't have to. Open that microwave up. My butter has melted. I hear it popping. Set this butter aside. We're gonna chop up some of our parsley to throw in there as well. About a tablespoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna to toss in there. Now let us get our butter that's melted. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now we should have what we're looking for. You should have some type of like thickness to it that you're able to scoop, but you don't see the breadcrumbs as much. So let's set that aside. Now in this, I'm gonna add some more parsley. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> That's that color, y'all, we're going to need at the end. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want them stems in there. Okay. Give it some color so it won't be so bland at the top. Now, if you want to use, you know, parsley, regular parsley instead of fresh, you can do that, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to get rid of this parsley I had in my refrigerator before it goes bad. <laughs> and I thought this would be a better way to do it. Add it in here. And we're gonna add just a little bit more cheese in here. It is definitely going to be cheesy, cheesy, y'all. I'm gonna use about a cup full. That's about a half a cup, measuring it by my hand. Guess I should've got a bigger bowl, right? Now, stir this around. We're gonna add some more cheese in there. This is gonna be delicious on top together, ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not. <laughs> gonna be perfect on top. Okay, let's set this aside. Work back on our tuna mixture. Now we need some milk. We have to have some milk. Get a third of milk. Well, that's one. And that is two. And we should be good to go with that, ladies and gentlemen. And let's mix that in together with all our veggies and our parsley and tuna, milk, and cheese. Some people bake theirs on 400. I've seen people bake it at 425. Depends on your oven and how quickly you want this done. 
Yeah, I know I'm never in a hurry in my kitchen. <laughs> now we need to add in our noodles. Can't forget the most important ingredient. I'm gradually put this in here. I did boil six cups. This is going to be delicious, y'all. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use a lot of carrots or not, but I think the color of the carrots in here is beautiful. Let's coat the bottom of our 9 by 13 dish with olive oil cooking spray. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. I just realized that my phone had interrupted me recording my video. So you actually did not see me pour in the noodles, but it is six cups blended in here. Now let's just scoop our tuna into our dish, or I should say the tuna mixture. Now, if you are in the neighborhood and you have a taste for some tuna, come on by and get you some. <laughs> I will have plenty left to share. Someone may ask, can you freeze tuna casserole? Yes, you can. Let's level it out some. I'm not going to smash it, okay? I'm just going to level it out by eye level so it can be even across the top before we put the mixture on the top of it, the breadcrumbs and the parsley and the cheese. There we go. I'm just going to take this. Let me grab a spoon. It'll be easier to lift. I'm gonna put this mixture directly on top, y'all, just like that. Like I said, if you want to use potato chips, you want to use Ritz crackers, regular crackers, have at it, ladies and gentlemen. Have at it. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> no, I did not take any singing lessons, okay? So don't be down there in the comments section talk about my singing. <laughs> It's coated everywhere at the top. I'm baking mine's on 375 degrees. And once it's done, I'll tell you exactly how long it took me to make this delicious tuna casserole for you. Look how that parsley brings out some good goodness on the top of this y'all mm, mm, mm. all righty yum yum y'all to your tum tum in the oven it goes on 375 once it's done i will come back and show you the finished product does that not look beautiful i'll see you back once it's done now, ladies and gentlemen, it has been exactly 45 minutes that our tuna casserole has been in the oven. Let's check on it. Oh, beautiful, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, indeed. 45 minutes at 375, and your tuna casserole can look just like this one. Oh, yes. Let me zoom in for y'all. Does this tuna casserole not look delicious? Now, I normally do not dig right into a casserole dish. I normally let it wait for about 10 minutes. 
but y'all, it smells good in the kitchen, okay? Y'all try this recipe. Let me know what you think about it. I'm going to dig into it in a few minutes to let you sample it, okay? So, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, share the video with your friends and family, share, 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 share. We're trying to reach another milestone. Leave your comment or your question below, and I will respond. Give me about 10 minutes, and I'll come back and plate it up for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about 10 minutes. We are ready to sample this for you. Mm -mm. I'm not making this for myself. <laughs> I just want you to see how it looks because I'm still on my detox, don't forget. So those who are watching my video, I am still detoxing, okay? I'm going to dig into there like that and scoop this up. It's going to be so... Look at that, y'all. Oh, does that not look good? Mm, 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 mm. It is so creamy. Oh, yes, y'all. Look at the inside of that casserole dish. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. The crust on top of there is perfect. Once it start browning on the top, you'll know it's done. I want y'all to see this plate I made. That is your delicious tuna casserole. Yes, y'all. Yum, yum. What do y'all think about that? Held together perfectly. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Mm. Y'all gotta make this recipe. Y'all must make this recipe very soon, okay? These carrots in here with the celery, my goodness. It has taken the tuna up to another notch this lord i shouldn't be eating this <laughs> i cannot resist y'all i can't resist this is delicious mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. mm, mm, mm. walk that off y'all <laughs> I'll walk that off from a treadmill and then get in the sauna. It'll come right off for me, okay? God bless you. I will see you in the next video. And I'd like to thank you again for watching it. See you in the next video.